the next guest, Dr. Gretchen Howley, who is um, a uh, physiotherapist doctor who is specialized in MS. And Dr. Gretchen and the um, uh, Alinker Academy might organize some uh, special uh, specific Alinker uh, classes a linker MS classes together. Um, so Dr. Gretchen, welcome here and the floor is yours. Thank you. Yeah. And I know we don't have too much time, but I really wanted to just talk briefly about the importance of what happens in your brain when you're using the A-linker and when you're doing these exercises, because the A-linker, as I'm sure everyone is aware, is great for so many reasons and it gets you out and gets you moving, gets you active, but there are actual positive changes in your brain that happen just simply from using your A-linker, whether you're just walking around with it or doing an exercise class or both. Anytime you're on it, you're making those positive changes in your brain. So I briefly wanted to explain why that is and what's happening because I feel like if you understand it, you are way more likely to stay consistent with your exercises, stay consistent with getting out and using the A-linker and just being active overall. So basically what happens in our brain when we have specific movements that we're doing, so with the A-linker, it's you know lots of things, but straightening your knee, then bending your knee to pull it back and doing that on the opposite side and core strength. What happens is your brain is sending a neural signal that tells you straighten your knee, bend your knee, lift your toes up. Your brain is telling you to do all of those things. And as B said, I, I am an MS specialist and a lot of people who do have MS mostly have difficulty with lifting the knee up. So marching, bending and straightening the knee and lifting the ankle up. One or multiple of those can be challenging. But what that might mean for you is as you're walking along, let's say your foot has difficulty lifting. What your brain does with every repetition that you practice this movement is your brain tries to find a new pathway to go from here to your ankle to make your ankle lift. If it didn't work well, then the second attempt you try, your brain does a different pathway. There are tons and tons and tons of different ways to get from point A to point B down at your ankle or whatever muscle it is you're trying to strengthen. So your brain has this ability to find a new pathway, meaning if one of the reasons of your weakness is the nerves, is demyelination, your brain can find another way to strengthen the pathway and therefore strengthen your muscles. But what it requires is repetition. The only way for your brain to find a new way is by attempting that movement over and over and over and over again. And some people, some of my clients, once they do the right exercises, they'll notice improvements as soon as within three days. I, I recently had a member who just said, I don't know if this is too good to be true, but I've only been you know, part of this for three days and I'm noticing an improvement. And other people, it takes a couple weeks, a couple months, a year. So everyone is different, but it requires that repetition, which is where the A-linker comes into play. Because the A-linker makes mobility easier, you can have more repetitions with good quality. Because another thing is if you're practicing the movement, but it's bad quality, you're actually training your brain to strengthen that pathway that's going to make you of bad quality, which might result in falls or spasticity or something that is not desirable. So there's lots of MS, if you have MS, there are MS specific exercises you can do to train these muscles. And the A-linker is what helps close that loop. So the first part is your brain has to create that pathway down to the muscle. The second part is you gotta use your muscle to get your brain to find more pathways. So that's the best way that I can explain it. There's obviously a lot of other benefits. The more you exercise and stay mobile for even just as short as 20 minutes a day, and that can be split up throughout the day, it doesn't have to be all at once, that reduces your body's inflammatory response. So people used to think, if they didn't have an hour to exercise, it wasn't worth it. 
or even if it's just 30 minutes, it's not worth it. But research is now showing if you have at least 30 minutes or less, 20 minutes to get that reduced inflammatory response, that's good. Additionally, you can exercise throughout the day and that is just as effective as exercising all at once. So even if you use your a linker for a minute or around your home, just doing things, doing, you know, moving around several times throughout the day, that counts. So I just wanted to share all of that information with you guys because I feel like the more you know, the more you can stay consistent. And as we all know, the more consistent you are, the easier it will be to stay on track and actually get stronger and have improved mobility. So that's what I hope for you guys. That's fantastic, Dr. Gretchen. And thank you for, for explaining that so clearly. And I always say like the brain wants to work. Yes. So you just have to activate it. And activating comes from um, actually doing the activities. But the brain wants to work. It can't work if you just sit. And if, you, if, you, if you're not active, if you don't activate the brain, it's not able to control, to manage a lot of things that it can manage a lot better when activated. And that's the whole thing. It's a, what you said, it goes from the brain to your, to your legs. But yes. the, the fact that your legs are moving feed, closest to feedback loop to the brain, and then the brain gets like information. And it's like, oh, I can do that. I just found a way that, that it communicates, right? Yes. And, and as you just said, your brain wants to move. It wants to find those pathways. The tough part about it is we can't see those pathways being formed or hear them or feel them. It's truly happening behind the scenes. It's in our brain. It's in our nerves, our spinal cord. We can't see it. And that's what's make, what makes it tricky. You really have to trust the process, keep going, stay repetitive, keep moving. But your brain wants you to move. It wants to find those pathways for you. So you got to stay consistent. And then over time, your confidence will increase. Your strength might increase. You'll be feeling better. You can participate more in life. So the benefits from all of this is just outstanding. You'll feel so much better, so much more confident. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And we just had a request from somebody who I know has MS and is struggling to find ways to use the Alinker. Um, and then Claire was so nice to share your Instagram account to get in touch with you um, to maybe get some, um, some very specific exercises. But yeah, thank you for coming on. And we're very much looking forward to um, for the building out a partnership with Linker Academy and you, Dr. Gretchen, and, um, and to get a lot more exercises that people can do in their living rooms. Um, you don't need to be able to go out and do a marathon on the Alinker to find the benefits of the Alinker. And any minute on the Alinker is, um, is more than not a minute on the Alinker. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. Karen, as well, if you're still here, I can't see that because I'm on the phone. <laughs> but thank, thank you, you very much for, um, yeah, lovely. And um, we'll be in touch.